Do we have now arrangements in place? So you said the oversight of new contracts is being taken up by Remco. How many people are we putting on that committee? How often is it meeting? What are its obligations to report now to either the executive board or to the board proper, which is the real oversight on behalf of the taxpayer? Uh, are we happy that those things have been rectified and proper functioning has been set in stone? There has been a significant rewriting of the terms of reference for Remco. So the Remco has that been shared with the committee, Ms. Mullooly? I don't, I, I don't remember reading I, I, it. I'm not sure, but I can do so if, 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 if that helps. It was approved at the last board meeting, which was at the 26th of September. Okay, I, I, I don't, I, I may not, because there has been a, a blizzard documentation. The committee hasn't received that. I, I can share it with you, but it's designed to cover not only. Um, executive pay and presenters pay but also things like um, exit packages or VEPs for executive members so it is um, it is more thorough the Remco has met five times since um, I think April of this year it will report to the board at every meeting um, as will all subcommittees now present a report to the board at every board meeting.